friends. My name is Carrie Cox and welcome to my channel where we learn to use our personal power to build a connection between our mind, body, and spirit. In today's episode of Spirituality in 5 Minutes, we're going to break down a topic in 5 minutes or less starting now. We're going to talk all about feminine energy. We embody both masculine and feminine energy within us and it's important to have a balance of both energies. We don't want to be imbalanced where it's creating toxic attitudes, emotions, relationships, communication, blah, blah, blah. So it's important to understand both energies so that we can start to understand where maybe we need to make some changes in our life and our relationships. In the yin and the yang energies, it is the yin energy, which is moon energy, which is uh energy that flows so it's i think of the body when i think of feminine energy because when we are getting all caught up in our head and we're overthinking analyzing being rational those are all masculine traits but when we're in our body and we bring that energy out of our head and down into our body that's more where we find that flow and that we find uh we're not thinking we're just feeling because uh, feminine energy is all about a feeling. Feminine energy is intuitive. It's that that place of uh, just knowing. It's using that heart wisdom within and feeling into things. It's and there's this knowing, this I know. Uh, it's compassion and nurturing energy. It's caring. I think of mother energy. It's receptive, so it receives. It's about cultivating and creating. Uh, it's that right brain where left brain is masculine, logical thinking. The left brain, I mean, the, excuse me, the right brain is all about uh, art and expression and creativity. And those are very feminine traits. So if we are finding ourselves so far in our uh, left brain all day at work when we come home we might want to do some activities that switch us over to that right brain where we can draw or create or paint uh, or dance anything where we're being expressive or moving our body uh, feminine energy is about pleasures in life so and because it's about a feeling uh, women want to feel every moment and so this is why we enjoy pleasures like chocolate. If we're eating chocolate, it's going to create this feeling inside, this pleasure. Uh, if we're shopping, we may feel that. So whatever we're creating, where we're creating sensation in our body, a feeling, we and it's pleasure, uh, we have to be super careful because if we're out of balance there and we're doing that too much, this can start to lead to addictions. It could start to lead to addiction so we want to be careful that we're not looking externally for these pleasures that we can not seek it outside of ourselves but seek that self-love and that pleasure within ourselves that way we're not getting caught up in addictions uh feminine energy is all about beauty and creation we create life with this energy uh it's, I think of the earth and the womb as very uh, feminine energy. Uh, emotions and water is feminine energy. It flows, so we have to allow our emotions to flow through us so that we're not allowing it to get stuck within us. We don't want to push down and repress. We want it to flow out of us and when we start releasing maybe what we have held in and repressed and we allow that to flow out it will open and create space uh, for us and that energy can feel very chaotic uh, because it's like the wind it, and it's very it very much is chaos it needs the masculine to come in and be the container for to hold the space so that it doesn't so that it can flow 
Again, we have both of these energies within us, so we want to look at the traits of each and see where we may be a little out of balance, recognize where we need to bring more of this into our lives, and this will help us build a greater awareness and uh, around us and help us to co-create uh, that life that you know we all desire. And when we work on ourselves and we change it within ourselves, it helps to change it collectively throughout all of the energies in the world. So if we want to change what's happening out in the world, first we need to change what's happening within ourselves. If we want to attract in and use law of attraction to bring in like the perfect uh, soulmate and create this fantastic life, all of those changes have to be made within us first. And then all of those things will just gravitate to us once we make these changes within ourselves. I hope that you got something from this video. If so, hit the like button. Leave some comments below how you tap into your feminine energy and hit the like button and share this video with everyone you know. Thank you, my beautiful friends, and namaste.